You can't report anything if you're dead. One of us is a liar, and it isn't me. Don't you understand? I thought I was human, Arthur. Maybe I should get a secret murder ring, too. But our friendship is over. I never trust you again. You certain about that? So it looks like we're going to be in Acadia for the next two episodes. We're going to try to help out the people in Acadia, and we're going to try to work with Kasumi on figuring out what's going on with Dima. But first, we're going to try to make friends with everybody here so no one hates us for whatever decision we decide to make with uh, Dima. Then again, it might be inevitable. You track Kasumi here. I'm impressed. Perhaps not as quietly or efficiently as possible. Uh huh. But thankfully, she was never in any real you danger. shade? I'm afraid your journey was unnecessary. I'm afraid you're unnecessary. How about that shit? You miss out on a fun boat ride? Never. Well, then at least you have the return trip to look forward to. Acadia is a safe haven for synths. Were it not, I would not have aided anyone in reaching it. Every synth I've tracked down, every synth convinced to come here, has been assured that he or she will come to no harm. My job is to make sure they all remain safe, no matter what. Understand? How do you manage to track down synths and bring them here? I have a network of contacts throughout the area. Some from my time with the Institute, some after. I know the Institute's tactics and use that to my advantage. You have Dima's blessing, so by all means, make yourself comfortable. I'd like to help you all. Is there anything I can do? Actually, as a matter of fact, there is. If you're serious about contributing, well, We've got a situation I need someone to look into. Okay. You've had okay. some experience traveling around the island, so you may be decently equipped to handle it. All right, I'm listening. We were expecting a new synth to arrive, and he should have been here by now. There's been no sign of him, and I'm concerned that he might have become lost on the way here. Mm. I'll find out what I can. You should start by talking to Brooks in Far Harbor. He's one of us, a synth. He's the one who meets the new arrivals and gets them started on the journey here. Of course, he's not likely to tell you anything without proof that you're working for me. If he doesn't cooperate, tell him that his designation is L-792. That should convince him. So, you've talked to Dima. You know why we're here. And I certainly hope that you'll consider helping us. Dima's vision is worth fighting for. So you're a synth? I am. I hope that's not a problem for you. Dima Doesn't has have worked to be. hard to create a place for us where we can be safe from those who don't accept us. He's put so much of himself into this. All his time and energy devoted to helping others. He never stops to think of himself. Sometimes mm -hmm. I worry about... Well, if I wasn't here to make sure his equipment is all functional. And that's not even mentioning maintaining the fog condensers. So many things to keep track of. Right, right. Wouldn't want him blowing a fuse, huh? Uh, no. Not really. <laughs> he didn't get that at all. He's clearly a synth. If there's anything I can do to help out, just let me know. Well, if you're determined to help, there is something you could do. Mm -hmm. It's likely somewhat dangerous, though, so I understand if you'd rather not. There's a boat along the coast of the island. It was transporting some hardware we needed. Storage drives. The boat never finished the trip, you see. So the drives are still out there. I could really use them here for extra parts, if nothing else. My understanding is that the boat wrecked southwest of here. So, does this sound like something you could handle? What happened to the boat? Why didn't it make it? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Trappers, fog crawlers, mm -hmm. there's no end to what's out there. And what might still be out there. The point is that we already lost someone once. And I don't want to see that happen again. So... Are you up for it? Sure thing, Faraday. I'll get the drives for you. Thank you. Well, I never met someone that did the catch. Shut the fuck up. I didn't hear it talk to you. Like that. That. No you wiped out those crabs. Fuck off. I need to talk to you about a missing synth. Yeah. Y'all ain't hear that. Y'all ain't hear that. Y'all ain't hear that. I need that. to talk to you about a missing synth. Yeah. Well, it's not something I talk about with outsiders. So you can either buy something or move along. If that synth got lost somewhere on the island, he could be in real trouble. 
Don't you care about that? Look, friend, no offense. What I care about is my business. Don't make me say it, man. Look, Chase sent me. So unless you want to piss her off, you better lose the attitude right now. Chase. Hmm. The name sounds vaguely oh. familiar. Rather. Please. Anyway, you want to buy something? Last chance. Uh, that famous Bar Harbor hospitality. How could you not love it? It grows on you. Will there be anything else? I'm working with Chase. She told me that your designation is L-792. Okay, I believe you. Keep it down, all right? Maybe you answer my fucking question next time, you dick. you're talking about. He's a younger guy. Maybe early 20s with white hair. Goes by the name Derek. Okay. Thing is, he showed up way earlier than he was supposed to. Thought a courser was on his tail, so he rushed the timetable. To be honest, the guy was a wreck. He was scared shitless. Looking over his shoulder every five minutes and attracting unwanted attention. I tried to calm him down, but he panicked and ran off into the fog. That was the last I saw of him. A trail of blood led me to this house. Not gonna let me one thing. Good old Derek is dead. Oh, and we got trappers. Yay. Fresh meat crawling in from the fog. Don't care if it's Meyer Lurk or man. What if it's a Meyer Lurk man? Hey, that would be a great name for a superhero. Leave or die. Ugh, they're cannibals? We survive. I'm not looking for trouble. I just need to find someone, a young man with white hair. You help me, I'll leave. Yeah, we found him. One of the fox creatures already attacked him. He was bleeding out. You know, why waste the meat? Oh, yeah. boy. Well, what's left? Take it. <laughs> and he laughed? Now go. Don't come back. You know, I'm almost level 100. And I'm going to be 100 with you. You ain't getting out of here, buddy. Okay, well, Nick handled that. I got this guy. All right. Now let's go get those memory drives. What are these? Storage drives? I said memory drives earlier. And we got Victoria's trunk. I don't know a Vic... Yeah. We got a cat. Uh, Captain's hat. I don't know why I call him the cat. Alright, Faraday, here we come. to you, but I define my kind as people I know that I trust. I've got those storage drives you asked for. Oh, that's great. Thank you. Uh, just the two? Really? I somehow thought there were three. Don't think synths get that wrong. You didn't say anything about a certain number of them. Is there a problem? Hmm? No. No problem. Not really. I just... I really was rather sure there had been three. Well, you did your part, so I'll do mine. Thank you for recovering these. It would be cool if there was some sort of side quest here where you find the third one. But I don't think there is. I haven't found one at least. Okay, Chase. Your missing synth was jumped by cannibal trappers. 
He didn't survive. Oh. That poor bastard. That synth came here to live in peace, and we failed him in the worst way possible. Mm, it's my mm, fault. Mm. I should have gone out there to meet him. Damn it all. I'm glad we were able to bring some closure to the matter. You deserve this. And shall we say 200 caps? I'm sorry things didn't turn out better. I wish they had. You and I both. Thanks again for your help. Be safe out there. You know, I'm actually, oh, that's cool. I'm actually kind of surprised that courses don't just wear different clothes unless they have to wear this uniform, right? Like, wouldn't that make a lot of sense to dress differently? How would they know you're a courser because you're Did dressed you up something? in plain sight, you know? I don't know. Maybe I'm just overthinking it. I noticed all these beds around here. And I also remember a guy from the Institute telling us that uh, he didn't make these models or he, they're not, you, you know, any of theirs. So now I'm starting to think that uh, I need to talk to you. somebody else made these. It's no secret that I don't exactly trust outsiders. Anyone. But I need help. The kind of help that stays quiet. I have my own set of contacts. Folks that warn me when things are about to go bad. And they're telling me that Chase screwed up. Something she did the last time she was in the Commonwealth got the Institute's attention, and they're on her trail. There's a courser sniffing around, and it won't be long before he finds Acadia. Can't let that happen. You've proven you can handle yourself. Can you stop him? Plus, I don't think Institute sense can sleep. Coursers? Wouldn't be the first time I've taken one down. Shit. Should have guessed it, I suppose. All right. So you're the real deal. That means you're in, yeah? I'll find him before he finds you. Don't worry. I know this means you're putting your life in danger for me. For us. I want you to know that it's not for nothing. Well, we got ourselves over here, boy. We done got ourselves a goddamn courser over here fighting with some trapper. Yes, sir. -y. Looks like it. Got one with that one. Got two trappers over here. Where the old course you're at now? Oh, that boy on hiding in there now. Oh, they don't know they're looking at me now. Oh, no, 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 no. What you doing from a distance? Mm. Took your kneecap, took your other kneecap. What you doing up here? Headshot. I missed. I got the second one. You're on fire now. Look at this. This is a bitch made course over here. You ain't even got no laser gun, fam. Oh, fuck. What was that? What did he just blow me up with? Oh, he about to dead ass kill me. Hold up now. Whoa. I was just playing around, dog. Damn. Why are you taking it way too far? Come here. Talk to you real quick. Are you lucky I missed? There you are. Boom. Bop. Boom. Where you gun at? Oh, we got the laser out now. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh. Trying to stagger me. Oh, Nick done got me. Oh, I done got him. Oh, we don't chop him up now. Well, he ain't ready for it now. Boom. Bop. Bing. Where you at? Stop dancing. Oh. He's not dancing at all. I'm, I'm just missing really badly. Okay. Here we go. There we go. Every time we come in here, Dima got some shit to say to Nick. Look. Watch. Have you ever considered our unique perspective, Nick? We are free-thinking synths. But we cannot hide what we are. The only unique perspective that's given me is the view of disgusted and suspicious faces and the occasional solid object being thrown at me. Exactly. There is a resilience that gives us. It's something I try to impart to everyone here. How to live as what you really are, despite what others think. Well, as long as what others think isn't you need to be shot and put in the ground, then maybe you'll be okay. <laughs> that is true. Even in Diamond City, despite all the good stuff Nick has done, there are still people there who are like, He's a set. He's a set. I'm just going to I'm better off here than dead. Okay. Stay safe. Hey, I is a dangerous place. Yes, yes, I know. How did he simp sleep? Like, it doesn't make sense. Even Kasumi can sleep. So it's like she could still be a synth. Tell me you've got good news. Oh yeah. Good news? No. Terrible news. 
He got me. I'm dead. And now my ghost will haunt you forever. Spooky. <laughs> Don't be an asshole. <laughs> Don't worry. Corsair's dead. You're safe. That is good news. Look, you fought one. You know how tough they are. Most of the synths here, they wouldn't have stood a chance. No. Nope. Couldn't risk having him take any of us in, or even report our location. I know it was asking a lot, and I won't forget that you did it. If nothing else, you've earned yourself a discount. Thanks, friend. Be careful. Hey. You got a second? There we go. We're asked to go check out some boat for Faraday. Yeah. Storage drives or something, right? Yeah. Okay, I need you to come with me for a minute. We're gonna go have a little chat with Jewel, and if I know her, she's hiding out. Okay. See, I knew that thing was weird. That little box that had the Victoria thing on it. By the way, I'm playing dumb. I know all about this mission. But let's just say I don't know about this mission. Anyways, yeah. Shocking. Hey there, kiddo. There you are. I need you to tell our friend here what you told me. What the fuck, Cobb? Yeah. That was between us. The fuck Skip is wrong it, with okay? you? She's here to help. Promise. Fine. Yeah. I don't see the point. All right, look. You know my head is messed up, right? Brain scrambled or whatever. I keep having these dreams. They're sort of like dreams, I guess. But it's like they're more real. There's... God, this is so stupid. There's this boat, and <laughs> it's on fire. <laughs> and I hear screaming. I think it's me screaming, but <laughs> I can't be sure. <laughs> and that's it. It's so weird. I have this recurring nightmare where an insufferable asshole keeps talking at me about all her shitty problems, and I can't escape. Wow. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I gotta hand it to you. That's pretty good. <laughs> but... Okay, I know this sounds ridiculous, but I found this key. I had it somewhere. It's fuzzy, but I swear it's connected. It means something. And Cog said he knows what, and he says you know too. So just take it and, I don't know, fix this. Why every time I walk by you, you wanna buy something or what? Wait, what do you have, huh? We got drugs? Do you have drugs, Dejan? Call the cops on you. I'll do it. So, you see why I wanted you to know about this, right? That boat Faraday wanted you to find. It's connected, right? Gotta be. Please tell me you're gonna go check it out. I'll make sure I take a thorough look. Thanks. I mean it. Just, if anything turns up, you come tell me. Not Jewel, okay? You and I can sort this out. What do you mean, not her? It's her thing. It must be really fucking bad. Never should have let Faraday talk me into this. If only I could resist this sweet face of his. It's easy. Just steer the boat and you'll be fine, he says. I swear if anything happens, he says he can fix me up if something goes wrong. It's supposed to make me feel better, but actually makes me more nervous. What can he do in that lab of his? He's very secretive and won't let me look at the terminal. The terminal. Back at Acadia. Alright. Severe trauma to the head and upper torso. Cognitive functions impaired. All functionality restored. Personal note, I struggle with the decisions made. Victoria was almost beyond helping. But what was done? I wonder if it was fair. Objectively, there was no choice. She suffered so much damage that the equivalent of a mind wipe was absolutely necessary. But this can't just be a dispassionate, impartial decision. This was our friend, and we wiped her without her consent. So, uh, now she's someone else, and she doesn't even know. We'll do our best to look after Jewel. Of course, we owe her that much. More doing stuff without the consent of others. It's not right, man. You can't just do some things without the person's consent. Now, granted, if they don't, if they have like the mind of like an infant or something like that, a young child or whatever, then yeah, maybe you should do some things without their consent to look after them because they may not know what's best for them. When they're a young adult though, or if they're an adult, you might want to tell them. Just saying. Did you need something? 
I was gonna just tell Jewel, but I already know I can tell them both, so I'm gonna you do that. You found something, didn't you? I sure right. did. Spill it. What's going on? There was an accident. Emergency surgery was the only way to save her. They did reconstruction surgery on her? Why? All right, look, this is a real shit show. But telling Jewel, it doesn't do her any good. Just hand over the note you found, and let's call this a day. Mm. Sorry, Cog. I can't do that. Shit. This is not what I wanted. Okay, fine. Tell Wasn't really your decision. Happens. Live with that guilt. So maybe he w was trying to look after his friend, I guess. But again, it's her life. Jewel, I need to talk to you. Come on, get up out of that bed now. Just kidding, I didn't even talk to you. Jumps in the bed and goes to sleep. Gotcha. Oh, shit. This is about that key, isn't it? In yeah. You found something, didn't mm -hmm. you? <laughs> what is it? You were in an accident. You would have died if Faraday hadn't done extensive surgery on you. No. That's... Mm. No. Some level, I fucking knew it. I knew that these people who call themselves my friends tell me they want to help. They did this to me. And who the hell gives them the right to decide that I don't get to be me anymore? I didn't ask for this. I didn't want any of this. God, this place is no different than any other. I just get screwed no matter what. Well, I'm done. I quit. Uh-oh. <laughs> You can have my stuff. Doesn't mean shit to me anymore. There's a chest down in the basement. This will open it. I'm out of here. Well, here's hoping that what's in the basement is, uh, oh, I don't know, a legendary item. I actually can never remember where it is, her little, uh, her stuff. So, young, have to bear with me for a moment while I look for it. Is this it? That is not it. But that is some uh, some good loot. I will say that. Is this it? No, no, it's not it either. Okay. Oh, oh, oh! Right here. Here it is. And there is a legendary item. Hey, hey, hey! Not gonna use it, but you know, I'll take it. All right. Next episode, we're gonna focus more so on good old Dima. Things are not looking too good for him right now. I wonder if Kasumi will actually ask about this stuff regarding the other sins within Acadia. She's probably going to be trying to look out for them too anyway.